Hello, this is Jarrett, and welcome to my cold series. Playing a frosty planet pack on a really nice asteroid on the series minor cluster. But on the challenge side of things, everything's maxed out, including ravenous dupes. But that's not all. First rule, no dupes with frost-proof traits. The other rule is never building or using ice liquefier or wood heater. This is going to be an insane challenge. Enjoy. Welcome to Cycle 20. In my last playthrough, I have made it to Cycle 40 and probably didn't explore nearly as much. So I've got quite a few of these wild mammoths around. Got uh, several plants, plume squash. And in the central area of the base here, I've got two stables and a great hall, a latrine, and a barracks. And we also have this uh, saltwater geyser with some insulation down here. And the name of the game right now is to find the teleportation equipment so I can drop off material. I just don't know how to send material from here to the other world. So we're going up and hoping to find out where that equipment is. I don't think I found that in the last playthrough. And as well, I explored more, as I said, in this, uh, this playthrough than last time. Uh, part of that is I only have two dupes. And I didn't need to worry about oxygen. So as I'm going in and around here, I've got lots of oxygen to be able to explore and walk around. Actually getting up to this zone at some point will be awesome because we'll be able to get, uh, we'll just walk across this and see what's over there. Over on this asteroid, which has six tubes, we're first of all installing an electrolyzer started collecting a little bit of hydrogen so that's been accumulating here with a smart battery and I uh, realized that chef has been down here without any lights we have automated lights going in so I should see the dupes up here at some point this is the uh, priority move getting higher and higher I'm gonna say actually I'm quite curious what's over there so let's make that a priority as well once they open that path up. The main thing I've got to watch is our water supply here is very low. So next priority move is to uh, create that little section. So I've got a path back. Better make a tile right there as well. Because we don't want to waste any water that's going to stop in there. And we'll open this up spot for water to fall into here so we've got that we also have this funny channel here all we have to do is knock that out okay dupes can't reach that but let's put that in and that in and they should be able to so we're taking it very slow things are going well but the water situation you just saw is very concerning in my mind We'll get up here. We'll keep going uh, up and up. I've got to think about Mercury. Is that going to 30 minus 38 right now? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. Don't have anyone that is visited over here yet. Oh, it's because they can't access it. Miner on the way down. Okay, so a bunch of wild critters. We've got a uh, spigot seal. Oh, two of them. Don't really care too much about these guys. Though they are provide. Ah! <laughs> there you are. The supply teleporter input. Okay, so you know what? Let's not bother going up. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll hit the top, but we'll stop there. Okay, let me get a plan for getting access to that guy. All right, we are off to a much nicer start. Builder going up here to release the water. So it's going to fall down this direction. can also open up water over here. And that will allow us to survive for a little bit longer. Let's go check on these tubes. Right now, I'm digging out some igneous rock so I can get a ladder going up.
We got this guy too that we can rummage. I'm really hoping that's a warm sweater. Because I'm going to be uh, bringing scientists over. They've got a warm sweater for me. You, do you have a warm sweater? Ah, uh, you do not. Okay, well. I think scientist has to uh, get here anyways. Warm, warm coat or not. Miner's starting to create some ladders. We're going to take this out. Oh, uh, we've got liquid on the floor. Liquid carbon dioxide. It is very cold in here. We've got liquid carbon dioxide. Mercury is a liquid as well. wonder if this is actually the best way to go. See another hatch egg over here. Fortunately, this could be a couple of these guys. Let's see, 21, not likely you. 78, it's probably you. So we're going to take this guy here. And send them over. Drop off that egg at high priority. I see a lot of carbon dioxide in the kitchen area, so I think what I'm going to do is destroy that tile. Allow that to flow out there at least. And over here, we have uncovered this guy. Very curious to rummage to see what's in that. Please, please be a warm coat. Just a second. Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay, that is going to make my life so much easier. We're going to drop that off right here. Uh, that's going to be for scientists. That is so nice. Miner, if you could move that... That would be lovely. So we can get scientists here with a warm coat. And they can... And that's... Oh, I can't believe how close this is. We've got... We have 5,000 share berries. Enough for one more cycle, pretty much. Um, but if we get scientists over here, they can activate that. So I've got to really stop. Let's look at the schedule for scientists. Ugh. Okay, I know what it'll do. I'm going to throw a scientist here in the schedule, at least temporarily. So scientists should be finding a cot. We'll let them get rested up. As soon as they're rested over, uh, uh, rested up, we'll send them over. Let's just verify I gave them their ability. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, they they have field research. Excellent. Scientist has just woken up. I'm not sure if they're actually hungry. Going to yes, they are. All right, they uh, can grab some food. And then as soon as they're done eating, oh, just thinking about this. If I send scientist over here, we uh, I want them to enable both machines. They're going to very quickly do this one. We're going to make that a nine. Uh, but we don't have access to this guy. We're going to activate that also a nine. But uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to have to stick around for a little bit longer. Let's make sure we've got a cot to that. And a uh, place for them to eat. Do that at priority. Let's have a look very carefully watching scientists here. Take their meal in. I decided I'm going to cut some holes here. So I don't want dupes to walk around in liquid. That's just going to contribute to stress. Scientists stopping at the outhouse. There, they're enjoying the Great Hall. And as soon as they're done there, we're going to send them over. Oh, let's let them chat. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll probably forget if I don't do this now. I'm going to get them there. Take off their snazzy suit. Because they've got a warm suit there. Actually, let's just verify. There is one there. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so take off the uh, snazzy suit. You can go... Oh, can that work without a tile underneath? I think it can, actually. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's send you over. 
First dupe traveling in this direction with the teleportation equipment. Hold on. <laughs> it is cold, yes. Scientist remembers this world, but they have a warm coat. So that's really good. Over here, we're getting some of this installed. Let's put a ladder together with the igneous rock. Miner stepping in some liquid. I should see scientists. Yes, they're going in the right direction. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Uh, let's verify that. Uh, this machine has some power. Oh, it does not. Does not have power. Okay. Let's make that a priority thing. I will plug this guy in, but I've got to watch that carefully. Just we'll have a little bit of hydrogen in the line. Scientists activating this machinery. This is like <laughs> now that scientist is here. Oh, you're looking for food. Uh, there's not a lot, scientist. I really wish you'd finish this though. Goodness, that's your second meal. Okay, well, we can't technically send anything over. What do we want to send over? We've got 10,000 calories of muck root. Let's send all the muck root over. Once this uh, teleportation equipment is available to us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Whew. I'm going to take that out. Let's disconnect the power. But that will at least give us a little bit of hydrogen to burn, saving a little bit of labor. Uh, what's gone wrong here? Let's wrangle you. Do we have a drop-off spot? We do. Make that high priority. Make that wrangle high priority. Scientists going back at it. Come on now. You can do it. You can do it. Just have to put your hand there and wait. Da, da, da. What are we getting? Oh, pff. sand. Um, feel like, does this world have sand? This world has some, uh, lots of sand around. We'll print sand here. Oh, there is the share berry. Let's make that something we urgently want to make. I don't know, even that is not high enough. Okay, we've got that active. Muck root is being sent over. There we go. We've bumped up our calories. So now we got to get busy over in this area. Make this ladder system going across. And I've got to get a plan to get up here. I could dig up like this, but I'm just worried about liquid. There's mercury, for instance, right there. There's some skills I can give out. A little worried about builder. But I think they'll be fine if I give them construction. They're interested in it. We'll actually change their hat. We've got engineer. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to give them carrying, but I'm not going to give them carrying too. Oh, in Zookeeper, we can get another dupe that has critter ranching. So that's going to help attend to the hatch stables. So 
ladders being installed here. So with that, we'll get rid of some of these tiles. Flip over to this world. We're going to start the path getting up here. We'll start by stopping in here to get some oxylite and oxygen. And then we'll get access to that water so we can get that drop down here. Scientist is no longer in this world, so I guess we're not doing any more research. Why don't we focus on getting those together as well? Engineer giving a tune-up to the hydrogen generator. That's going to make our hydrogen last just a little bit longer. Let's see some automation wires here I want installed, guys. Builder is on it, even though they're a little stressed. Oh no, they're providing some dirt. Just a little bit of water. So these guys will continue on building a ladder going across. Now that we've removed all the uh, muck root, the uh, food situation is not great. We're just hanging on. Chef, keep doing what you're doing. These guys are going to be getting a ladder system across here. So they've got a bridge up to this point. So they shouldn't be getting their feet wet along this path. We'll continue up and around. We'll eventually get a ladder system going across here. Hopefully we don't need that right away, though. Mine are going up to cut out that area. Automated lights going in here. This is exactly what I was worried about. I think we will try to uh, get ladders going across here. If we could do something like that, that would be ideal. Chef has been doing a great job here with Zookeeper. We've got 10,000 calories. Mostly mush bar. Maybe what I'll do is uh, we'll do a lice loaf through here. And consumables will tell everyone not to eat the input to that. And da -da -da, muck root. Let's make a couple special rules. We're going to be uh, uncovering more. So in this asteroid, if I can get scrolled down here. I'll tell everyone on this world not to eat muckroot. Save that for bringing over to the other world. Oh yeah, we haven't produced our first piece of that. I'll copy that setting across. We're continuing to make our way across. Let's indicate that that is really the priority. All the way up here. Let's take this out. So quite happy to see calories have gone up. Though uh, just the moment that we've produced it, the dupes start eating it. Notice that that got bumped. That was a five. Oh, what about the uh, micro mushers? There are fives too. Okay, good. I was wondering why everyone was collecting dirt. Getting more of this. Okay, let's dig that whole thing out and we'll replace that with ladders. So I see someone has installed this pipe, but we're going to have an issue. 
I've checked over here. We've got hydrogen sitting there, but the pump itself unfortunately has a little oxygen in it. So what we're going to see is another piece of oxygen trapped in here. So we'll have to take that out. Calories being maintained here by Chef. I'm going to plan up here. We're going to take this tile up, forcing the dupes to be up, but walking up here on top of the ladder. I don't want them to walk down here where there's liquid carbon dioxide, where they're going to get their feet wet and contribute to stress. I'd like to get these dupes up here so we can drop that water off. Worried about too much water. So we're going to fill those two tiles in. Actually had a thought. I'm going to be bringing scientists back at some point, right? I'm going to get them to take off their warm coat. But I could get them to put this on before they uh, leave. Put that there as a reminder. Some ladders being built here. This is what's going to keep them from getting their feet wet in the future. Because there's going to be manual generator here. There's going to be, uh, they're going to be up here dropping off materials. So this is going to be a busy area. Do not want to, them to constantly get their feet wet. Well, let's see. We've got some igneous rock in this area. Good. Didn't want them to go too far to build this ladder. Some down here as well. Da, da, da. Don't want to take that out though. Eight thousand calories. Oh my. Okay. And uh, we only have mush bar. Let's just go to edible. Make that priority. I'm not gonna send all of it over. I'll get someone to pick up uh, some. Zookeeper not happy. They're going to the outhouse. The veterinarian is deciding, you know what? No, I don't want to send that over. I want to eat it instead. But we don't want it all to go over. Lice loaf. Okay, hold on. Are you eating lice loaf? I thought that would be a nice way to say, you know what? There's lice loaf. No one here eats... Oh, no, hold on. No one on this asteroid eats it, but these guys can. Miner and Rancher. I'll change this rule. We're going to send Muckroot still. Mush bar for now because we have to. And Lice Loaf. See some Mush bar being picked up. Builder, are you sharing? So that's being transferred. Let's not do any more than that. Let's turn mush bar off on that. It's taken down our calories, but we do have at least a chef here and zookeeper that can replenish the calories. So that has arrived. Now we've got 11,000 calories here. We're making good progress up towards the supply teleporter. Scientist is going to be leaving this area after that's activated. So we won't have to feed as many dupes in this world. Okay, start of cycle 23, and I can put a design here for providing the conveyor loader with some power. My plan is to get an oxygen diffuser put right there with a jumbo battery. We'll get a manual generator right there. We're going to start by generating some oxygen up here. Scientists should be up here soon to activate this with a little bit of oxygen that is there. 
And at priority, we're digging a little bit of iron ore here for this project. And I'll go over in this world. Let's see if we'll turn this off for a second. Collect some algae so we can make some oxygen. Put that up as high priority. Veterinarian starting pathway up here. Actually, there's a little bit of food. Could be sent over to the other world once it's cooked. We should see dupes carrying some algae. There's veterinarian jumping some over. Okay, turn that back down. Builder sending some over, so we should see that algae arrive here. That's been cut out, so we've got local iron ore to construct that. Which algae do we have? Getting close to a ton of it. Let's switch back over to dropping off certain types of food. That's going to be lice loaf muck root. Oh, and just let me make that a priority. Scientists still not activating this. Where are they? Okay, maybe they're on their way now. But let's go down, select that algae, almost a ton, move that up here, make that a priority. I just need to wipe this machine off, make this whole thing priority. That's it. It's activated. Okay, I'll let you help set this area up. But you're going to be going back soon. 10,000 calories. Not feeling great. Chilly surroundings. You're probably done with this world. Let's send you over here. that out there is scientists don't forget to take off your warm coat we'll put on your snazzy suit and I'm just realizing the uh, oh is there any way I can convince you to do this before we we'll probably go into the outhouse you can't. You can't. Because you're going to freeze. They're on their way to find some sleep. Um, What if I... If I block them from... Oh, I can't anyway, I don't think. Oh, maybe. <laughs> i got to take a minute to see if I can get them to put on their suit. Otherwise, uh, I guess I can teleport them without it. I'm wondering if I should, if toggling the red alert temporarily will convince them to... Ha! <laughs> ha <laughs> There we go. Alright. Uh, no, it was a false alarm, guys. Don't worry about it. Scientists, you're being teleported. <laughs> oh. They're not going there because of... Uh... Okay, fine. It's still red alert. I was joking. It is a serious thing. Oh, hold on. No, actually, it is not. Scientists, too late for you, buddy. <laughs> you gotta go over. <laughs> Alright, so we left a warm coat for the next dupe that goes over here. And I uh, should have... I've got Builder, who's the most stressed out. I should have given them this, actually. When scientists had left. Oh, and what do we get? Ooh, okay. Some calories. I'm going to say that makes more sense being sent over here. 
Da, 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 da. Choose blueprints. Awesome. All right. I have to take a moment now to decide where to go next. I think that is... Oh, yeah. Algae being dropped off. So, so, yeah, I think that's fine. can continue on. Scientists certainly needs to get some rest and food, but when they're done, I wouldn't mind getting some liquid tuning so we can get a liquid tempidizer that's likely going to go in this area. Oh, we've got some ice in here. That's only slowly been warming up, but if I can produce some heat, that might uh, convince that area to get melt or get that ice melted. So we're going over here. This is now going to become an urgent thing. We want to get up in this zone. Go over here first. Okay, let's see if I can make just a slight better design here. Miner stressed out, carrying some iron ore. Over here, I found just a slightly better plan to get up here. Actually, that's going to make it that fall down there. Oh, hold on. Just need that. Okay. And that's going to be the end of cycle 24. Cycle 25. Starting to dig up in this zone, but uh, I want to put a tile right here just so we don't get any splash back into this. Actually, maybe we should open that up just in case. Though I think it's fine. There we are, engineer. Good job. And we're going to focus on digging these few tiles out. So keep her coming up to do this. Once this is done, I see lots of buried objects. It's going to be some sand falling down. <laughs> All right, zookeeper, get yourself out as long as the, along with the water. Here we are. You're not having a good day, but that is leading to more water being dropped off here, which we very much need. So good job. Let's see, someone has fixed this up. So let's connect this with power and piping. I'm gonna watch this closely. I don't want to see oxygen get in it again. Six thousand calories here. Or are we with hydrogen? You need some. Put this back in place. Uh, oh! I didn't realize you were actually trapped there. Aren't you gonna do a dig? Someone actually have to help you. I'm gonna be watching this zookeeper. Okay. Let's cut. Uh, let's say that's enough for now. Double check that we don't have oxygen in there. Looking good. There, zookeeper is out. Why don't we uh, do a big mop up? Just so that everyone's not getting their feet wet as they explore. Because that's just going to add distress. Check on our dupes over here. Still have to build this setup. So the water has settled. We're up to this level. Still have some ice in there. And that is very much why we're getting this set up. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh, let's make sure that's made out of iron ore. And we will store a bin. Can make that out of sandstone. Since we've got some uh, right there, I believe. If not, how about we open this up? And then we'll dig up here to get some ice and snow. 
so we won't have to go far to send stuff into this machine. Just had a look at a few critter eggs. I've got a few in here. They're not bothering these guys, but we want to get them out before it becomes a problem. So we'll do that. I also see another one of these eggs, Bohemi eggs. That means that this critter would be a good candidate to bring over here to this stable. Should have put in some doors here, but uh, the other thing is a shearing station. Don't don't have power in this area. We'll, we'll wait on that one, but that's coming up soon. Got eggs in the hatch as well. That's being dropped off over here. And we are up here looking for some buried objects. We'll open this up so we can pick up that meal lace. Let's look uh, calorie wise. 10,000 calories over here. 16,000 over here and only two dupes. So this is looking pretty decent for these guys. Oxygen though is okay. Oxygen, we need to produce oxygen more than just simply up here. Let's see if we're even doing, no, of course not because we don't have the manual generator. Though miner is on it. And we'll have that route going, I'm sure, by uh, cycle 26. The eggs being taken out of the stable. We'll store those over here. So that's that egg. And the other egg. Okay, so we haven't got any from uh, you, but uh, at least check if you're groomed. Good. Probably don't need this, but I'll up that. In fact, I wouldn't mind if you were even higher than the flocks. The outhouses are making me a little bit nervous. I'm going to up the priority and even add both this here plus a uh, fourth outhouse. And we're going to start on a pathway up here so that we can have a direct drop off because we're going to be dropping off ice. It would just be more convenient to have that land here than have to have the dupes pick it up right up there. And some power is being made. Low oxygen area, so let's say that's just enough. Let's concentrate on getting something in the oxygen diffuser first. We've got algae sitting right there, miner. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We're going to plug that into there. That's going to at least give us a little bit of oxygen in this zone. Of course, there's a little oxygen bubble right there as well. Make that a priority. Builder's stuck. Let's dig there. Let's dig there. Either way, we've got a path you can go out. Oh, come on now. There you go. No. See, if you don't dig, you're not going to get... Okay. Maybe someone else has to get you out for you. There we are. Tiny bit of oxygen. But if you just dig, if either direction... Okay, looks like engineer is going to help you. There we are. So now I'll take this out. That and we'll nearly have a full drop off zone. Never actually ended up needing that. Did oh, because of some sand falling. Now we've got two groomed critters here. I don't think I'm going to be adding any more than that for the time being. Waiting for some other flocks around this area to drop an egg. And I'll send them in a flock stable. Really liking this uh, system here where dupes can go across without getting their feet wet. Despite that, mine are still a little bit stressed. You can take that out on some snow. So 
Looks like we produced a little bit of oxygen, but we're out of uh, power. Miner running away for the smallest amount of time. Cycle 27, Rancher starting off, charging up our jumbo battery so we can make a little bit of oxygen. I was planning on sending some ice and snow and definitely going to, but I thought, what about sleet wheat? If we set up an electric grill, that'd be an awesome thing to have, wouldn't it? So I'll do some digging up here. Builder, your stress actually I think has gone down a little bit, which is good to see. So that sleet, wheat, and snow, ice, will have a direct path up to here. Open that up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do this, just in case that ice and snow that's going to arrive goes down that direction. On this guy, that has a light axis, which is awesome. We're going to make frost buns. And since we've got this charged, I'm going to, uh, okay, that's a seven, perfect. And that's a cooking ingredient, sleet wheat. We're going to start receiving some sleet wheat from this world. Let's check some of the skills. Chef will give them, uh, make sure they're not currently busy cooking. They are, of course. That's where they are most of the time. Veterinarian. Oh. I think I'm going to hold off until I get better morale building. Same thing with scientist. Engineer is exciting. They're going to get this. Oh. Mechatronics engineering skill. Okay, I really have to up morale. Probably a nature reserve would be it. The next thing to do. Um, engineer, come on now. There we go. One unfortunate thing is the distance this is from the rest of the base. But uh, it could be worse, I'm sure. I guess. So some sleet wheat. Oh no, power. Never mind. How is oxygen looking? Oxygenless looking decent. Mine are taking in some food. Got this plan here. We'll open this door. Uh, just a small amount of calories. Well, we do have some uh, muck root as well. There and there. But I see some uh, bristleberry. But this setup here is worrying me because I'd like to go for the uh, super sustainable achievements. And I don't want to run coal generator. Let's make sure we disconnect this guy. And have it set to be disabled. Scientist finishing up a little bit of research. Now that I'm interested in sleet wheat, I'm just going to actually make sure that the dupes can access it. There's some more there. There's some there. Some over here as well. Go up in this direction. Some down here. That's going to prevent me, I think, from getting access to that. So we'll build a ladder like that. Don't have any uh, there, but there will be, so we'll open that. Open this. And in here. Research has been complete. Okay, I think I'm going to... Uh, 2,000 calories. Let's hold off. We'll concentrate and power on the uh, kitchen area. Though, maybe it's time for just a little bit more hydrogen. Actually, you know what? Changed my mind. That's kind of annoying. Let's do generic sensors. Though, if I'm going to do that, kind of need advanced automation. 
ideally. That's gonna send some hydrogen in. Oh, what do you have for me? Something good? Fried mushroom. Who needs it more? Okay, these guys need it more. Awesome. That is nice. Let's cut this. Power from here. Okay. Verify that we just have hydrogen. We do. Okay. Good. Where is that sleet wheat, guys? Oh, oh. Uh, allow manual use. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And I'm worried uh, about ice and snow. Let's get, at the same time, some ice and snow. Eleven thousand calories here. And these two dupes eating four thousand calories. Recycle. A little bit of ice looks like. Once Miner puts that in, we'll switch over to something different. That's a little bit of snow, okay. Up more ice. All right, we'll let, let them put in just a bit. Okay, good. Once that drains, we'll turn off ice and snow, and we should just be getting some sleet wheat. Let's look on the other side. We've got some. Uh, did that actually, or maybe it hasn't arrived. Oh, it falls. Oh, yeah, of course. There. There it is. Ice and snow. Cycle 28. We've got this block of ice, which has warmed up to uh, minus 16 or so. We're going to be moving ice and snow over here. Make this little bridge. So that can fall down and start to melt down here. Because we are going to run out of water at some point. Dupes have chewed through the fried mushroom already. Where is that sleet wheat? Where is the sleet wheat? Rancher going to bed. Miner sleeping. Some snow being dropped off here. So because that is a lot smaller than four tons, that should melt much quicker. In fact, if there's any more. Okay, no, that's it. it all. That's fine. Perfect. So these guys are awake. Rancher doing some grooming. That's good. Do you, oh, there we are. That's what I've been waiting for. Sleet wheat. Okay, let's... Go make sure that has arrived. There it is. Sleet wheat, sleet wheat. That can be cooked in here. We're going to make that a priority. I could make mush fry. No, that's just going to be too much labor. So if I can get Chef up here, that's just going to save water. For the next little period. Because we're low. We're so uncomfortably low. I think it is time to think about putting in the uh, heater for this. So we've gotten over here that's given us access to this bristle berry. Why don't we go to consumables? Let's turn that off. And then inside here. Bristleberry, we'll cook that. Some frost bun being made right now. I almost was planning, well, I was planning on sending it over here, but calories are just too low. 
So I think the first few pieces of frost bun will have to stay on this asteroid. It's taken them a while. There's just too many other uh, things I redirect them. They still don't have that second electrolyzer. Oxygen-wise, it's not really an issue. Veterinarian allowing us to get into this area. So I should see someone picking up some of this and digging over here. I'm just curious. Probably nothing. A couple buried objects, maybe. Oh, there's buried objects down this way as well. Just got a warning for starving critters. Okay, let's uh, feed these guys. Some ba -dum -ba -bum. sandstone. Don't think it's going to take the dupes too long to uh, pick some of that up. Come on, come on, somebody, somebody. Veterinarian, excellent. And a zookeeper attending to this little guy. That's awesome. 13,000 calories, frost buns at 7,000. That's good to see. Very good to see. One more cycle left for today, and I think we're going to pause the research project. Water's just too low. As much as I would love to have this automation for hydrogen, I can manage that myself right now. Uh, I think we've got... Yeah, we'll wait for hydrogen to accumulate a bit more. Wouldn't mind digging that out. But uh, what I've got stored for today, or this cycle, is... Uncovering this little section right here. And I believe the dupe... I, I opened up this path, and now that I realize it, I don't think the dupes even need to go down this way. So I should have someone be able to stand there. Take that out. We're going to put a wire down for a liquid temporizer and speed up the conversion of this snow and ice. Speaking of which, I think we need some more. So I'll go in here. Go back to... Uh, Ice and snow. Now, the circuitry for that's not going to work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a second transformer. Do that right here. There's engineer. Oh, they're grabbing food. So we should see these guys going over to uh, pick up some ice and snow. Or unless they're sleeping. So I have a new flox flan uh, there. This guy is wild. So I've waited for my egg. So I not only have a guy in here that's hopping around. That's uh, tame. But we have their version that's wild there. That's awesome. So just watching. See if we've got any more eggs. What about... Here, still four hatch eggs. Okay. And frost buns. 14,000 calories. Let's make this a priority. Really want to get down and heat that area up. Especially before the water runs out. Okay, let's put in our second transformer. Heavy watt wire feeding that. And a new line that's going to go right down to the... Actually, you know what? Uh, let's reuse this line. Let's do this type of thing. This is going to have too much on this circuitry, but uh, that's fine because it, we're not going to continuously be running the liquid temperizer. So engineer standing right here. That's what I was hoping to see. Do we have any ice and snow being dropped off. Where are you? Oh, maybe they're still sleeping. 
Miner running around. So we need to keep the kitchen going. We've got six dupes here eating 12,000 calories a cycle. Liquid temperizer goes in right there. I'm uh, going to disconnect that from the circuit. I don't want it to take power away from the micro musher. Let's put that tile in before anything else. We get a power plant. We got a tune up on that. And it needs a tune up. Once this guy starts running, I suspect we'll see someone on the manual generator pretty soon. There is Miner with some ice. Excellent. Now we've got more ice and snow over here. I also see, which is really nice, one of these spigot pops that must have been an egg that was laid. Which means we've got you. Oh, you're elderly. Ah, okay. But that is going to produce some tallow. And an interesting thing, I was looking at tallow, 50 kilograms. And you can use that. You can combine one kilogram with meat, so 50 times this plus conversion to this. So that's what we're going to get from you. I'll probably send you over here, but that's later. That's going to be next episode. I'm going to in some power. We should see some ice and snow. More of that dropped off here. See, we left an egg for you in here. You are getting kicked out. Got some wiring set up. We've got our power plants back. Let's check the other rooms. Got some barracks. We never did fill this barracks up. There's just been too many more important things to work on. So just heavy watt wire, and I think we'll have this system go. Oh no, and we need to build this too. This could not be built soon enough. Builder. Okay, actually, really happy to see you. The best builder. Uh, are we... No, one more wire here. And then we'll have this system going. Don't want to impact this whole setup. Let's disconnect this. Connect this that and let's make a priority of jumping some uh, actually yeah let's do that dump more ice and snow there that uh, drained our power someone needs to hop on this guy <laughs> what's our hydrogen level maybe I will hold off we'll do this We'll connect in just a little bit of hydrogen. Shaft dropping some ice and snow over. That's enough for now. Zookeeper making some power. That's going to send some hydrogen down. Guys, sending some food over. Food is low. Better get that kitchen going. Just watching hydrogen accumulate up here. Okay, let's say that's enough. Double check. That's just hydrogen. Yep. Plug this back in. There we go. What do we have? Uh, 17 degrees. 18. And let's have a look at the ice. We've got a piece of ice in there. 29. Minus 29. Slowly rising. Now, if I take this... 
ice and move that over. Yeah, I can find the snow. Do the same thing. If there is any snow, maybe the snow is melted. Okay, at least do that. And that's going to make it melt a little bit quicker. Do the same thing with this. Just move a piece over there. Single piece is enough. This is just going to separate those things. So now that we've done that, got that small piece of ice, which should warm up a little bit quicker, or much quicker, than the bigger block. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take this out so we can drop off, take that out and that out, and we can separate more ice over there. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today. Just let me uh, let me think about my final thoughts, and we'll uh, conclude this. So I feel like we've had quite a few close calls. It seems like we enabled this system here in just in the nick of time to drop food for these guys to be able to survive. And we've got this system here set up just in enough time, hopefully. I suspect to get enough ice and snow so that we'll be able to continue to survive, though things don't look, I mean, awesome, awesome, but hopefully we'll improve as we go. Let's look around. I think my biggest concern right now is oxygen. That's why I'm setting up this little zone here. I'm going to put a manual generator because, well, it's not great. It's not great at all. But we do have algae from the other world. I can see this little guy has made this area happier. We can do the same thing over here. But uh, yeah, we've got our critters. That's probably one of the main things that I'm watching right now. Making sure these guys, one of them's looking for food. Hmm. I do have a plan to get down over here. We can do some harvesting. That's going to help feed those guys. Let's do a harvest on what well, we already do. We've got more of these uh, plants we can get access to. And more sleet wheat. Lots to do. The other thing is I want to get up here and even just say hello to some more new wild... Oh, another uh, egg. Probably from you. You are uh, 78. That's going to be more tallow. Awesome. awesome. I don't know if I'll need to get these guys in stables early on. But uh, it's certainly going to help if I just go and visit them. So we're going to make a priority of getting that. Over in this guy, uh, this spot where we've got six dupes. Food has always been in a crunch. 11,000 right now. I really got to keep the kitchen going at all times. But so happy that we've got this liquid tempidizer. Because I really want to speed up the process of ice and snow melting. I'm going to pause it right there. Because I can see that I want to separate some more of that before we get going. All right, I think things are good, but we've just sort of made it. I was kind of thinking getting to this asteroid was going to be a very different experience. I think um, it, it was, it's been less stressful than trying to set up a, a liquid temperature here. I'll give it that, but it's still a bit of a challenge. Nonetheless, with, uh, with these ravenous dupes, I can see I've got this uh, brine I've let out, so that's going to be useful, but that's a much later on thing. I still feel that I am going to have to be very selective about what the priorities are going on for the next little bit. So I'm going to have a, a lots of thought between now and the, the next time I continue on to decide exactly what should be done next. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time where I will uh, get to cycle 40, I suspect, and we'll compare where I was last time when I got to cycle 40 or 41 versus going into this asteroid and doing a similar thing. All right, until then. I believe I did this last time. I just wanted to do one final thing after I say it, uh, goodbye, first of all. Just about to print something, a snazzy suit. I'm going to sign that because I will forget about it if I don't do that now. Uh, let's give that to the most stressed after builder veterinarian. You can put that on.
And uh, what I'm really back for is just splitting this ice, because I, I feel like I'm going to forget this at the beginning of next time. So that is that. Let me just take another piece of that and move that there. Hopefully Zookeeper will do that for us. Let me just bump you. There we are. Awesome. Picking that up. They might have to go around a long way. That's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need more. Oh, you didn't. I did get ice there, though, right? Yep. There's the little bit of ice. That's just going to help uh, melt and add more water. Okay. I will see you next time.